Hello everyone, Black Girls Jewels. Oh wow, look, don't I look professional? Usually, I have like a microphone I hold like I'm an American Idol or something, but now I look like I'm a pro gamer. Anyways, um, <laughs> today I have a Melodious deck profile, and um, the reason actually why I'm wearing this headset is because I lost my microphone. But yeah, I usually don't see it, but I have a microphone like right under here, and I feel like I'm a, an American Idol or something, but no, today... I got this headset, and today we're having a melodious deck profile. Um, post Shining Victory, um, because we had the new fusion that just got announced, and the new um, what's your name? Oh no, it's a fusion, uh, Fortissimo. So I'm gonna go through the deck. I'm gonna explain some of the new cards, cause I know since the last deck profile, we haven't had a lot of the new cards like score. So I'm gonna go through the deck profile, and then I'll show you guys. Uh, some of the effects and uh, tips and combos you can uh, throw in into the deck. So we have one Mozarta, one Chapina, three Opera, one Thunder King Ryo, three Aria, three Solo, two Cannon, three Soprano, two Honest, one Tam Tam, one Serenade, uh, two Sonata, and two Score. For the spells, we have one Regeki, one Polly, two Twin Twister, and two Fortissimo. The traps we have one time space trapple, two stormy mirror force, one boundless trapple, two melodious illusion, two psalm notice, and one psalm warning. For next up we have two bloom prima, the melodious choir, two shiberta, two bloom diva, one cyber infinity and nova, one ragna zero, one one honor arc, castel, dweller, cowboy, Potalamus, I always say it wrong, and rafflesia. So. The new cards, I'm going to show you the new effects real quick. So, this is from the last time I did the, 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 the deck profile, and that was before Opera. So, Opera, she is a 2300 beater. She, When she hits that field, your opponent better watch out. She's a very, very good first turn normal summon when you have nothing really else besides maybe like a back row or something. Um, she can attack the first turn she's normal summoned, but she can attack the after that turn. Also, when she's used for a fusion summon, you can um, uh, make it so your melodious sponsors can't die by battle or card effects for that turn. The other new card that is uh, Solo, the Melodious Songstress. She is a Cyber Dragon effect where if your opponent controls monster and you don't, you can special summon it. Also, when it dies by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can summon a Melodious from your deck. It's a special summon so you can get effects like Soprano, um, Aria, all of them off. And a really crazy combo is just going. If you want to stall out, you can kill a uh, solo dies, special summon soprano. Soprano can get back solo, and it's just that infinite loop of spamming out solo. And then, whenever you just want to go full defensive, you can go um, special summon aria, and then you none of your melodious can't die uh, by battle or by card effect. So, lots of like stuns going on. Um, back then, aria could not get uh, destroyed uh, by card effects or by battle. But, or uh, can be targeted or destroyed in battle, but the problem was getting her out. Um, so now it's a lot easier to get her out with solo. Okay, copying the deck profile uh, just now, I did just change something. I realized just in the middle of saying that little bit right there that I forgot solo movement. Um, I took out the two Sonata and um, uh, one Cannon. I took those out because they weren't necessary. I totally forgot this card existed. This is how long I've uh, waited until solo movement and I have played this deck at all. So I apologize for that, but this is why you have to stay until the end of the video because I do change the deck sometime mid video. So, um, anyways, uh, we are at um, still solo. So, solo, like I said, you have many ways to special summon your melodious girls now, and now you get effects off them. The other new one is Score, and Score is kind of like the Galoot of the deck. During either player's damage calculation, on either player's turn, um, you can send it from the hand to the grave to change your opponent's attacking monster, or the one you attacked, or at all. Uh, you can change his attack to zero, and defense to zero. So here kind of rolls in a lot of the crazy plays. So say you had a Shiberta, and it got its attack boost, so it's at 3,000. Say you're attacking an opponent's monster, um, a blue ice white dragon, and it's 3,000. You can send score to the graveyard, make that blue eyes zero attack, then you can use the lowest illusion so it, it can attack twice, and it's not affected by other spells or traps, so it can just attack 3,000, 3,000. The clue effect is really good in mid to late game, 
uh, because uh, 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 um, it's also good against um, Infinity. Because now allow Dax can get out of Infinity, you can just easily attack over Infinity now because of score. Um, other outs, stuff like um, the Cosmo Mirror match because it doesn't target. I said Cosmo Mirror match, I didn't mean Mirror match. Um, the Cosmo match. When you attack into a or a Dark Destroyer attacks you, you can send it to the graveyard, make that Dark Destroyer zero, you can get over it. This deck can do really, really quick damage, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. The final new card in the main deck is for Tzimo. Once per turn, you can target one Melodious monster you control. It gains 800 attack until your next standby phase, even if this card leaves the field. It's a it's a continuous spell. So, again, it's kind of crazy. Uh, what you can do with the big damage with Illusion, you can make Shibura 3800 and attack twice, that alone is 7600. So, just again, that 800 can be a big boof, boof, buff. You can send this card to the graveyard, fusion summon one Melodious, fusion monsters from your extract, using monsters you control as fusion materials. So, this is why I only play one poly, because this is basically a new poly minimization. The only problem with Fortissimo is you have to control the monsters. So, polymerization you can just send from your hand, Fortissimo, you have to control it, but it does have that 800 buff. So, that's why I play two Fortissimo and one Pally, just to get a little diversity. Um, besides that, the final new card is Bloom Prima, the Melodious Choir. Gotta take a breather there. Uh, one Melodious Maestra, and one Melodious Monster. Um, so, you need either Mozarda, or Shapina, or Shiburda. So those are the ones we have here in the deck. Um, I guess another card you could play to kind of mic mimic is the Rose, Crystal Rose. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Crystal Rose. I don't think it's needed in the deck in any shape or form. Um, but it is a possibility. So I love, I love the Melodious Divas, the Bloom Divas and Primas. Are I think they're fantastic. Anyways, this card gains 300 attack for each fusion material. You use to summon this card. So you instantly have two no matter what, and then you can do one or more in the Melodious. I don't think you'd ever really use three or four. At that point, you're just losing uh, advantage. But we're just going to go off the assumption that you use two. So she's at 2,500. Um, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Okay, so like I said already, big, big damage. If this fusion summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Melodious monster in grave and add it to your hand. So, you have lots of big attackers here, like I said. Um, so, I have a question for you guys. It's a ruling question. So, since Bloom Prima can attack twice, if you use um, Melodious Illusion, can it attack a third time? Cause it says it can make a second attack. But if you already attacked twice, would that overrule that and you can make a third? I don't know. That's the comment I want you guys to leave in the comment section below. Because I'm not really sure about that one. Um, but even if it isn't, it's still great. 2500 twice. Um, I still think Bloom Diva the Melodious Choir is better. But Bloom Prima is better in the way of offensive fighting. So Bloom Diva is more of a defensive card. This card is more offensive. So if you want to go for the offensive, probably go for Bloom Prima at that point. So, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you enjoy this deck, I'm making a Digital Bug Duel video tonight and a Melodious Duel video tomorrow. So, or maybe I'll flip-flop that. So, if you enjoy this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry for my voice. I'm getting a little cold. And I'm sorry about changing the deck mid-video, but that's why you have to stay until the end, right? So, like I always say, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.